Yo what's up guys this is Aprix here welcome back to another video today we'll be talking about CMU on Android a port of CMU has been created for Android devices if you guys don't know then CMU is basically a VU emulator for PC it's open source as you can see software to emulate VU games and applications on PC and if you guys have seen my previous video which I made on the possibility of VU emulation on Android I mentioned that CMU will not be ported anytime soon for Android devices but recently there has been a video on the CMU discord server which shows a test port of cmu running on an android device with a game being emulated let's just go ahead and take a look at this gameplay so first of all on the cmu official discord server one of the developers got cmu to run on a real android device with games playable although they are in slow motion or they just crash later on i'd also like to talk about if this emulator is going to really come out or not but let's just go ahead and take a look at this gameplay posted by the developers cmu as you just saw fragment game in polish so this is the UI of the emulator. It's not a complete port, it's just very basic port. And the developer is actually trying to capture gameplay of Shovel Knight. And as he mentioned before, this should be playable. So let's just skip to the part when the game actually starts. So you'll see, uh, we have an FPS counter. Now I'm not really sure about which device did the developer use to test out this emulator port on. But if it's an high-end device, then we should be able to get a decent benchmark. I just want to make one thing clear before we head on any further that this emulator is not being actively developed for Android devices. Most of the developers aren't even interested in an Android port. This is just a test gameplay. So let's go back to our gameplay clip. You can see the game has actually started. It takes a lot of time to load the game, which is another thing to consider. But as you guys can see right here, the game has successfully started. It's not a major game like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's just not possible for now. And through this gameplay test, we can actually see that uh, Nintendo Wii U emulation on Android is possible through CMU. But will there be a CMU port coming for Android devices? The truth is that no, it's not going to happen anytime soon, at least for a few months or years even. And if we just go ahead and uh, close this gameplay, you already saw the FPS uh, which the developer was getting was around 20. And the game was working fine, but with most of the commercial games, uh, as developer mentions, it's in slow motion or it will just crash. The reason why I tell you guys that it won't be coming anytime soon is because of this right here. Recompiler for ARM64 is not implemented yet. It takes a lot of time and hard work to implement a recompiler. It's currently using interpreter, so that's why uh, the, there are some FPS issues. From the previous video in which I talked about VU emulation on Android, we already know that VU's architecture is too complex for most Android devices. That's the reason why no one's really interested in creating a VU emulator for Android. And the developer has mentioned that he's not actively working on it. He just wanted to see if it is feasible to port the emulator to Android without rewriting a lot of code. And hopefully one day we get to see the CMU VU emulator come to Android devices. And the system requirements for PC are decent, so you do need a good PC. So in conclusion, we got to see a glimpse of VU emulation on Android, but the unfortunate part is CMU Android port won't be coming out very soon. Don't get disappointed, just take this as a glimmer of hope that in future, maybe someday after a few years, uh, we might get the first ever VU emulator for Android. It's crazy though, 2023 we have so many emulators like Vita 3K released, Skyline emulator is getting more stable and better day by day. We even got the Daemon Switch emulator which is really funny to talk about because it's just a bunch of stolen codes. The emulator isn't even playable but yeah, it was released for a short period of time until they decided to take it down because it's useless bro. Anyways, let's not talk too much about it. That's it for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification to stay up to date with all the latest emulation news see you guys tomorrow goodbye